As a memory expert, how do you keep up with the latest research and findings in the field? And how do you continuously improve your own memory and learning techniques? How do I keep up with the latest research in the field? And how do I always keep improving? You know, I, I just try to, you know, what was it, uh, Solomon? said there's nothing new under the sun. There is research, science, medical research being done in memory, and I think that's wonderful. Um, and I do keep up with that to a limited extent. But you know what I actually like doing? It's almost reverse from that question. I like reading old memory books. Like 2,000 years ago, Cicero had some writings called Ad Herenium where he talked about memory. Uh, there are people in the 1800s and 1700s, um, Pick, Dr. Pick was a memory expert in the 1800s. I love reading his writings because I think sometimes some of the things that they said can get lost in time unless we go back and look at them. So I do try to stay current, but also like I really love the old memory. And you know what I love the most about the old memory books <clears throat> is when I was reading Cicero's writings on, in Ad Herenium, he was talking about how to memorize a poem or a quote. And in essence, what he was saying is, is you, you see an image for a few key words, and then, you, and then you say the phrase, and your mind kind of fills in the gaps for the, the words that you didn't memorize. Your brain will naturally fill in the gaps. And that's something I've been telling people for 30 years. And when I read that book, and I saw Cicero write that, 2,000 years ago, I thought we had like this connection or something, you know? It was just so cool. Uh, so that's what I like to do. There, I think there's a lot of stuff in the past that we could that we could look over. And matter of fact, in the description of this video, I will put a link to uh, old, some old memory books.